In this video I'll be showing you how to make a curry sauce. Curry is a very versatile and varied dish eaten all across the world. This particular sauce I'm making here doesn't actually belong to any specific region of the world. It's just a sort of curry sauce that I've developed myself over the years and I do particularly enjoy eating. If you are new around here and like to see lots of cooking and baking then start right now by hitting the subscribe button and turning on the notifications bell. To begin we'll be making our curry paste. For this I'll be pureeing an apple and onion. If you do not have fresh apples to hand, you can substitute for apple sauce, although use roughly half the amount of apple sauce, as the sugar in the apple sauce could very easily overpower the rest of the curry. Once your apple has been grated, place it in a food processor with the roughly chopped onion, and then pulse until it becomes a nice smooth paste. You can just pulse until it becomes a rough chop, although my personal preference is to pulse it until it becomes a nice smooth puree. Next melt a dessert spoon of butter. If this was traditional Indian cooking you would be using ghee butter at this stage. And once melted add your apple and onion puree and begin to sweat. I like to sweat mine without adding any colour, although to add more depth to your curry you can cook over a low heat until it begins to caramelise and turns a nice golden colour. Continue sweating your onion and apple mix until it reaches your desired preference. Make sure you stir quite regularly during this process as we don't want it to stick or burn to the bottom of the pan. Add in your spices at this stage and then continue to sweat down to release as much flavour as possible from the spices. At this stage when adding the spices you can tailor the curry to any sort of preference or flavour you like by adding in spices of your discretion. I generally like to keep it relatively plain and simple as this is a good curry for people who don't like too much spice or if you're serving curry to children. After sweating your spices for a few minutes add in the flour and mix well ensuring all the flour has become incorporated right throughout the paste and then continue to cook for a couple of minutes. Next add in your stock half at a time and mix well ensuring there's no lumps in your curry sauce. I've used vegetable stock here although if you were going to use this curry sauce base for making a chicken curry you could always use chicken stock instead. Don't forget to see all aspects of cooking and baking and to never miss a future upload hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell. Add in your yoghurt and mix well. Add in the cream and give it another good mix. And then finally add in your mango chutney before bringing to the boil and then simmering for 20 minutes. At this stage season to your preference, I generally add 5 grams of salt, although taste it and you can adjust by adding more chutney, more cream, more yoghurt. Just keep playing around with it until you find a taste that you're happy with yourself. Bring back to the boil, stirring continuously to make sure that all the flour and spices are cooked out and also stir continuously to ensure that the sauce does not stick or burn to the bottom of the pan. I've decided to serve mine with chicken by sautéing off some chicken breast and then adding to the sauce and cooking out. Although this sauce is so versatile you could also turn it into a vegetable curry by adding vegetables of your choice to it. And that's how I make my curry sauce! If you have enjoyed the video be sure to give it a like, share and subscribe. For the rice scene in the picture check out the recipes on the channel and for more cooking and baking why not check out one of the recipes on screen now!